I just started a new job a few months ago and so far things have been going pretty well. I'm still trying to find my groove and navigate the office culture but overall no complaints. That is, until I was approached by Pamela. Now Pamela is the unofficial office social coordinator. You know the type. Always the first to organize birthday lunches, decorate cubicles for anniversaries, and she has a supply of greeting cards for literally every occasion. She's nice enough, but her enthusiasm for office traditions is intense. So one afternoon, Pamela comes over to my desk, leaning against my cubicle wall with this huge smile. Hey, you're new, right? I wanted to invite you to join the coffee club. Now at first, I thought this was an actual club for people who enjoy coffee. I love coffee, so I perked up, ready to say yes. But then she explained it wasn't really about coffee at all. It's a club where everyone in the office pools money every month, $25 each, to buy birthday cakes, condolence cards, baby gifts, and other things for various life events. One person is in charge of the fund, and when someone has a birthday or a significant life event, they go out and buy a cake or a gift from the whole office. It's kind of like a slush fund for celebration. She went on to tell me how it really brings the team together and how it's such a small amount of money for what she described as priceless joy. Priceless joy? Let's pump the brakes for a second, Pamela. $25 a month? That's $300 a year for cakes and cards. When I heard the amount, I must have given her a look because she laughed and said, it's not that much when you think about it. And besides, you get gifts too when it's your turn. Here's the thing. I don't need another recurring bill every month. I'm still adjusting to my budget with this new job, and while $25 doesn't sound like a lot, it adds up, especially when I could just buy my own cake or, better yet, not eat cake every time someone turns a year older in the office. If it were five or even $10 a month, I'd probably say yes and just let it slide. But 25? No thanks. I've got my own things to spend that on, like actual coffee or maybe that gym membership I've been putting off, since there's a lot of cake going around after all. So I politely declined. I figured it wouldn't be a big deal. But Pamela's smile faltered a little. Oh, she said, clearly surprised. Well, just so you know, if you don't contribute, you won't get any birthday cakes or gifts yourself. I told her I was okay with that. Honestly, I don't need a birthday cake from my co-workers. If anything, I'd prefer to fly under the radar when my birthday rolls around. I've never been big on office parties anyway. They're awkward. The last time I had an office birthday party at my old job, they sang happy birthday to me while I stood there holding a paper plate with cake, not knowing what to do with my hands. No thank you. After I turned Pamela down, a few of my co-workers, who I'd barely even talked to, started giving me a bit of a hard time about it. They'd come up to me in the break room and say things like, Oh, you're not in the coffee club? I guess we won't be celebrating your birthday then, in this kind of half-joking, half-serious way. I shrugged it off at first, but it's starting to feel like they actually think I'm being stingy for not joining. One guy, Steve, even tried to guilt trip me. He told me about how last year the office got together and bought him a beautiful leather-bound journal when his dog passed away, and how those small gestures really make a difference. And yeah, I get it. It's nice when people show they care. But I still don't think I need to throw 25 bucks a month into a pool for gifts I don't even want for myself. I even joked with him, well Steve, if my dog passes away, I'd rather get sympathy in the form of beers, not cards, but he didn't seem amused. Guess that joke didn't land. It's not like I don't appreciate the sentiment behind the coffee club, but I've got my own priorities, and honestly, I'd rather control where my money goes. I don't mind celebrating other people's life events, but I'm just not interested in doing it through an office slush fund. If someone I actually work closely with has a baby or something big happens, I'm happy to contribute on my own terms. Now the vibe in the office is getting a bit weird. I can tell some people are thinking I'm cheap or selfish because I didn't join in. Pamela still greets me with that friendly but now slightly judgy smile, and I feel like I'm unofficially labeled as the guy who doesn't participate. But honestly, I'm okay with that. So, am I the asshole for not wanting to spend 25 bucks a month on birthday cakes and cards? Should I just suck it up for the sake of office harmony? Or is it reasonable to opt out of something I don't feel is necessary?